Hey everybody, Kirk Jungian here from LearningGolf.tv. Taking a look at Bryson DeChambeau playing today in Mexico at the World Golf Championship where he's in the lead on the back nine. Let's hope that he pulls it out. He's the best single plane golfer in the world. And wanted to take a look at his swing for those of you who aren't so familiar with the simplicity of it. You hear a lot about his same length irons but really it's his setup that is key to his performance, what he's been doing. The camera angle's just slightly off of where I would shoot it for looking at a swing plane. You can see he's really lined up here uh, out to hit it out there as you'll see where the ball's flying. So the camera's a little bit off from being directly behind him. But what's unique with Bryson is how he sets up with the club on the same plane as his trailing arm. So you can see the line extended through the club goes up through the elbow of his trailing arm, which puts it on the same plane. And this is what simplifies the game of golf. And I help a lot of people every week in my schools and in private lessons in West Palm Beach. And you can check the schedule out on my website. But taking a look here, you're gonna see what happens because of this setup. This is also the plane he's gonna be on at impact which really simplifies the swing. If you've seen my other videos, you'll understand that. But you're gonna see the club's kind of a blur here and because of the camera position, it looks like it's a little bit behind the plane. But you're gonna see right here, as we get in, you see how his hands are perfectly on plane and the club's up in this area. And as he changes direction, you're gonna see the leg motion. You can see how bent his left leg is and you're going to see really a great transition here using the ground for power and pushing with his legs. You'll see, notice how his left leg is straightening here, coming into impact, and his right heel begins to work off the ground. Even as the club is up in this area, uh, it already starts. He's leading the, also the tournament driving distance this week, as well as in score. You can see the heel moving up off the ground, the club coming right down the plane that he set up on. And you can see about an impact here, right there. You can see the club shaft, it's kind of a blur here. The club shaft is very close to identical to the plane that he set up on. So a couple of other things, and this really simplifies the game of golf and my setup for impact method. It's the easiest single plane method that you'll find out there. You're going to see it's also easier on the body simply because if you look at his hip or his pants line here and his neck, you're going to notice he's putting very little stress on his spine. You're going to see as he turns back and comes through, he drops a little bit here to use the ground for power. So it's a little bit of a squatting move, but you're going to see as he's coming into impact, notice how the hips are staying level even though he's pushing off with the right foot and the left leg straightening. So that's helping him turn the hips. And you're going to notice his back of his neck. It's actually the same position that he started in through impact. So there's no compression of the spine in this swing while he's swinging on one plane. So if you compare this to the other participants in this tournament, what you would see is the club set up down here and the arms coming in from above, and then at impact, they would be on a different plane, the top of the swing, the club's way up here, and the club's way up here, so they end up coming back down uh, to get to the plane, but they're on multiple planes then throughout the swing, whereas Bryson simply sets up on his impact plane, and it's a much easier golf swing to learn. On my website, I also have a customization on my setup for impact method, which talks about how to go about learning a similar swing to Bryson's. Now, I do not recommend exactly copying anybody's swing in the past. I taught the Mo Norman golf swing as well as attempted to copy it identically myself. And it just really is impossible to exactly copy another person's golf swing. So I've used the concept to simplify my teaching to fit the swing to each individual with the goal being the fastest improvement possible. So check it out at learninggolf.tv. Thank you very much and have a great day.